Hey everyone, TechnoMentor here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and activate the eSIM on your iPhone 15 Pro Max. So let's get started. So when it comes to setting up, first thing we're going to go ahead is power it on. The power button is right here if you're using an iPhone for the very first time. This is how you power it on. You simply hold on to it until you see the Apple logo and let go. That's going to go ahead and power it on. Of course, make sure the phone is charged, especially if you got it the very first time. Sometimes they can be without charge. So let's go ahead and power it on and then we'll get started. Here you're going to see the hello screen so we're going to slide up here and then first thing you're going to want to select is the language. So you'll select a language and then you're going to select a country and region that you're in. So I'll keep the default and then you can change the appearance from the default to larger if you do prefer a larger appearance. I'll just continue as is and then I'm going to click on set up another device and after that it's going to go ahead and ask you to connect to your Wi-Fi or you can also use your cellular data. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi here by tapping on it and enter the Wi-Fi password. Now I'll just simply click on join here to get connected to the internet. But you do need internet when you're first activating it because it needs to verify the phone's hardware and to ensure with the Apple server that this is a genuine Apple phone. So this just takes a few minutes, but generally takes 10, 15 seconds. And then you're going to get the data and privacy. You can read through it. Just going to hit continue. And then setting up your phone, like a setup for yourself or a child. So I'm going to click on setup for myself. And then face ID. So you want to use face ID to unlock phone, use Apple Pay, and make purchases and other services as well. You can always use a pass, or if you don't want to use it, or you can always set it up later. So if you want to set it up, you hit continue. It'll scan your face. If you want to do it later, you can just do that. I'm just going to do it later. And then you want to put in a passcode here. Now you have the option to use the six-digit code, or you can use a four-digit or alphanumerical one. So I'm just going to put like a demo one here, but of course don't use this one. And then from data transfer, if you have data that you want to transfer from an old iPhone or even Android phone, you can follow these steps here. This is um, Android or another iPhone. Or if you have iCloud backup, you can also use iCloud backup to move all of your things like photos, videos over to this phone. Or if you don't want to and start with new, you can just simply click on don't have and you will set up new now. The next big thing is going to be Apple account. Apple account is important that you have one because you will not be able to do anything without one, like downloading apps using Apple services. So it's free to create one with your iPhone, or if you have an existing one, you can sign into it like it says here. If you forgot your password, you can also go ahead and reset your password. So let's say I want to click on this option where I don't have one, right? You can go, as I said, you can create a free one by following the prompt here. Or you can always come back and set up later in the settings. I'm just going to select that so we can get to the setup step here. Uh, but you do need to make sure that once you're setting it up, you're signed into one or create one. I'll hit agree here. And then it says if you want to automatically update your phone. So I'll hit continue. iMessage and FaceTime. So those are core services on iPhone. So I'm just going to hit continue. Location services. You can turn it on or off. Doesn't matter. But you'll need it for maps and other stuff and this is where it comes to when it's study, setting up your cellular data there's two main ways to set it up because the iphone 15 pro max in the united states version is only eSIM. you need to transfer it from an old phone if you have one it can actually transfer it for you so if you have another phone near it you can actually have that phone and then just transfer everything over which again it's going to be the easiest so you can just hold a phone right here hit transfer and if you do it you'll get this option where you can click on transfer and you can transfer things over to from this eSIM it'll be moved over to the other phone now let's say you don't have it or you're setting up for the very first time you can use a QR code method which basically the QR code you're going to be given from your uh, carrier the company that you get a phone service something is going to look like this where they give you a QR code and all you're going to do is just scan that QR code like that or you might be given this manual stuff. So if you need to manually enter all this information, they're going to give you that, that you can also use. But a confirmation code is required if it's provided by your carrier, which they'll leave here. I'll let you know. And that's going to be the other way to activate the eSIM card here. So follow either of the steps and you'll be having your phone service on your iPhone or you'll be able to go ahead and set up that eSIM. So I'm going to do set up later here. Uh, skip, you can always come back and set it up in the settings. Uh, screen time, basically a weekly report if you want that, you just can hit continue. iPhone analytics, if you want to share your analytics with Apple to improve their product. I simply choose not to, but again, you can choose to share it. And then you have the option to go from light, dark, or auto, where it becomes dark at night, light during the day. I'm just going to leave it as default. 
and then the silent mode which is used with this action button where if you press and hold it'll silent it unsilent it that's basically what it's saying or the control center can do it for you uh, and that action button which I mentioned you can customize it if you want to a specific setting where if you click on there it can activate one of these actions or no actions at all so I'm going to keep it as silent and then hit continue and then Apple Intelligent which is part of iOS 18 to get you the ability to do more with your iPhone if you want to uh, use it you just hit continue and now it comes with it so we can always turn it off Siri the voice assistant you can set it up by uh, hitting continue it'll ask you to choose a voice and then say some commands so I'm just going to do set up later because that will take some time emergency SOS which is part of the iPhone ecosystem to give you emergency SOS in case uh, you're in an emergency situation or even if there's a crash detection feature as well to help you uh, call emergency service in case you're in a crash or something that nature and then you have uh, messaging and other services with uh, SOS here and finally we're going to swipe up and you have now set up and activated mm -hmm. Our iPhone now like I mentioned if you didn't set up the cellular you can by going into your right into your settings and you can click on cellular set up cellular the same example will come in so if you didn't have it the very first time and you set it up that's fine just go ahead and set it up here and the other thing is Apple intelligent if you want to use Apple intelligent you can come over here and click on turn on it'll go ahead and turn on Apple intelligent for you so there are gonna be ways uh, to use your iPhone 15 Pro Max. I hope this video was helpful in setting up and getting started with your iPhone 15 Pro Max. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.